Hi everybody, Steve Politi, Keith Sargent, James Cratch here at HighPoint.com Stadium. A 20, set, 20 to 7 loss. Scarlet Knights to Penn State, guys. We can talk about everything that happened in this game. To me, it comes down to those final two minutes of the first half. When they're down 10 to nothing, Rutgers has the ball, about two minutes left around the 35-yard line. Penn State has all three timeouts. Getting the ball to start the second half, you, you almost feel like you need to have points there. It's just, again, it seemed like a gutless coaching to me not to at least try to get a first down, and you saw what happened. Penn State scored uh, when they had to punt the ball. And I asked Chris about it after the game, and he said he admitted that they were just trying to get to the locker room and, and as you said, regather their, their thoughts and, and, and go in the second half. The problem with that is a couple things. One, it was 158 left in, you know, and Penn State had all three timeouts. Um, they had reasonable field position, 32-yard line. Mm -hmm. And here's the other thing, as, and he said that the offense wasn't playing well. Well, you're putting in your backup quarterback to try to give it a spark. How many right. times do we see where a backup quarterback, especially one who's been who started games, he's played in 12 games, he's won Big Ten games, you know, tried, and we saw in the third quarter, he gave him a spark. If he goes down there and maybe you know, gets a couple first downs, maybe they kick a field goal, you have a different outcome. But it, it just was plain to lose. If you're, not, if you're not playing to score, if you're not trying to score then, when are you going to try to score? I, I don't understand. Like. <laughs> They made the decision to go to Geo after our through the second interception, which was really bad. I get that, but Geo is not a quarterback who's built to be leading a team back from two scores, yeah. potentially three scores. Because even if you, even best case scenario, you, you accomplish that, you get into the half at ten nothing. Penn State could have gotten the ball and scored a touchdown and been up seventeen nothing before you got the ball again. I, I just don't. It's almost like it's too much time. It's almost like Ash thinks they're like, well, if I like if I cover this like. Aggregate spread of all the Big Ten games. Yes. Then I think there is something okay. to be said about that. I think there yeah. is. They, they were playing good defense, and it, you know he was happy being down only ten nothing. When in reality, it was just too much time to, to, to be trying to run as a clock. Right, and you know we talk all a lot. He uses the word improvement every week. The offense is not improved. It's not. They no. run the ball now, but if you can't pass. And James Franklin said it in the press conference. He said, "Look, you know we we really respected their defense, but." You know, we knew they couldn't pass the ball against us, and we can, we're going to beat the one-dimensional team. It's essentially it's paraphrasing what he said, and that's been the case uh, these last few weeks. It hasn't gotten better. Yeah. Art hasn't gotten better. The playmakers haven't gotten better on, on, on the wideouts. I mean, what, where's this going with yeah, offensively? I mean, Art regressed uh, today. For, for sure. Today he regressed. I thought he was make, showing, showing improvement the last couple of weeks. Clearly uh, took, uh, uh, regressed. The offensive line's banged up. You see Tariq Cole limping around. They're a shell of what we kind of expected from this offensive line. And then, again, the one area which I keep on harping week, in, week out is the, the lack of playmakers and you know just the, the failure mm -hmm. to develop playmakers because that's the one thing they haven't really developed a quarterback before this year and then you know you haven't developed any pass catchers and I just look at this game and like they got one game to go Michigan State Ash was non-committal about what he's going to do with quarterback I tend to think you should just let Geo start the game because even with the progress Art has made you, you yanked them pretty early in this yeah, game the right. leash was relatively short in hindsight right. but my whole thing is we saw it with, with when Geo's in the game, they don't run their offense. You know, that scoring, the, the long drive that ended with the trick play that didn't work. They ran, like, there were a couple of pass times that became scrims. They ran the ball 14 times. Yeah. Yeah. Like, their offense, when Geo gets in, it's just everyone run around. Right, right. The, the problem is Penn, uh, Penn, uh, Michigan State stinks. Yeah. Yes. They, they have nine, 9 6 loss today. I mean, again, this, that's a, winning, that's a winning, winnable game. This is a winnable game. That's it's the frustrating us. part. That's what I'm telling you. Wisconsin, it's a terrible Northwestern, game. like, think about it. Rutgers could have beaten the Big Ten West champion, Wisconsin, and Penn State this year at 1-10. in 10. And for various reasons, they lost all three. Uh, what, what, what it proves is the Big Ten's not very good. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, which gets back to the original Even point. Ohio State almost lost to uh, Maryland. That's the Ohio most State frustrating point. Lost Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're constantly yeah. saying, well, they can't measure up against these, these, they these can. teams. <laughs> they <laughs> absolutely can. can. Yeah. Yeah. But they they're can't they're because they're far <laughs> off. They no, they are far off. They are far They're 1-10. They are far off. They shouldn't be this far off because the Big Ten is not that that beast that everyone keeps talking about. James Franklin watching Maryland in overtime nailed by Against Ohio, against Ohio, Maryland, fired the coach, goes through this massive scandal in overtime. That's the one Ohio saving State. grace for Rutgers today is that Maryland lost in overtime to Ohio State, and Syracuse is getting boat raced by Notre Dame as we tape this. <laughs> I mean, they had it; they lost their quarterback. But like, imagine yeah. if, if, if if Maryland beats Ohio State on the same day that Rutgers puts this yeah, out. There. I think you're looking way too. Like, Rutgers needs to figure it out on, yeah. on their own. One in ten is just not, one in eleven going to be probably, and it's just not acceptable. On that cheery note, let's sign off from highpoint.com. You're not walking out this time? Steve, no, I'm going to stay here. Was I wrong? Go stand here until next, next September. You sign off.